I want to develop Africa. Most of my farmers are here in the north. There's a lot of potential in Africa for IT specialists. Ongeipi, Nawa, Opomuli, Tamuitu, Nawa. Then we have younger millionaires and billionaires who are just starting from the ground, self-made. We've adopted two daughters from Namibia. My wife is a Swiss German. So I'm always moving between Africa and Germany. guys today we have special guest his name is Nathan and he would like to tell you a story he's originally from Africa hi Nathan thank hi. you for your time thank hi. you that you are with us today thank you so much for having me can you tell us a little bit about your story you live today in Germany but you are originally from Africa. How long do you live in Germany? Yeah, I came to Germany under a scholarship in uh, 2011 with the GIZ mm -hmm. and since then I've been uh, doing business here in Germany, mm -hmm. going back to Namibia and coming back to Germany. What did you study? I studied first quality management mm -hmm. uh, at the TÜV Academy in uh, Saarland. Mm -hmm. But now, currently, I, am, I have a, B, a Bachelor of Science in marketing, digital marketing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you married? Yes, I'm married to my wife. Uh, her name is Esther, and uh, we live together here in Koblenz. Mm -hmm. We have two, uh, we've adopted two daughters from Namibia. Wow. And uh, it's part of our, we want to help mm -hmm. uh, communities in Namibia. Mm -hmm because sometimes there's so much uh, poverty in, in, in poorer communities mm -hmm. and uh, we decided we for now we're not going to have our own children we would adapt these two beautiful daughters uh. is your wife also from africa no my wife is uh, swiss german mm -hmm. she's from switzerland but currently she's a German citizen. Mm -hmm. She holds a German passport. Mm -hmm. It was your idea to adopt children from Africa or was it the idea from your wife? No, it was my idea because I, uh, I grew up without a father myself. Mm -hmm. I grew up with only a mother. Mm -hmm. So I know how hard it is when children are in this world and they don't have parents. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually my vision one day is to have an orphanage, to have more children, uh, adopted children, maybe a wow. hundred. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, <Wow>. yeah. <laughs> I would really like to have more uh, orphanage to manage an orphanage okay. for children in wow. our, in Namibia especially. Okay. The, there are so many children without parents. Mm -hmm. Is it tricky to adapt? children from Africa in Germany. People are watching us right now and they would like to adopt children. I don't know, maybe from Africa. Can you help? Can you explain? Is it possible? Yes, it's, it is possible. Mm -hmm. And I would encourage people from uh, Europe or from Germany to adopt more African children because most, some of these children have no parents. The parents have uh, died a long time ago mm -hmm. from a disease or from uh, uh, accidents, but mostly from disease. And these children uh, have nowhere to, to, especially when they are young as babies, 
So I would encourage really people to adapt wow. uh, African children and give them a better chance in life to grow up, to have a healthy life, uh, to study and to become someone in, in this life. So uh, this is uh, is lab. It's a place where you can rent space for co-working. This is uh, the owner of okay. Isolab. Here you can uh, eat whatever you want. You will freeze so you can store your food. How how people work in Germany. This is the map from Koblenz. You can see Deutsche Zeit. And it's like two different rivers. It's Rhine and it's Mosul. It goes to Mainz and it goes to Trier. This is Namibia here. Mm -hmm. This is Namibia. This one. And here is South Africa. And here is Angola. So Namibia has, I live here, my capital is Windhoek. It means a corner of wind. Most of my farmers are here in the north. How many people li live here? There's 2.2 million. million people. Mm -hmm. The country is times two of Germany. It's quite big. And here you find the Itosha National Park. Park. Mm -hmm. So I walk with the farmers up here, up to the Zambezi River here. So my products come from all over the north here. So for those who don't know Namibia, it's a small country, 2.2 million. Beautiful country, small population, lots of wild animals. Friendly people. Nathan told me today we have special gift from Africa to you. We need 200 comments and the best comment will win the gift. All handmade, all the way from Okavango craft workers in the Okavango region of Namibia, right here. The best quality, handmade. I would like to speak with you about business, but about children, it's so emotional and interesting topic. How old are your children? Uh, they are still quite young, uh, four and three. What was the most difficult part uh, at the paperwork to adapt children from Africa? I think at the moment, uh, people are very skeptical, mm -hmm. uh, especially the law. Mm -hmm. in Namibia. Mm -hmm. uh, this is to make sure that uh, these children are not put in houses where maybe there's pedophile or sexual yeah. abuse. So I think there has to be a background check. I think that's the, the test, the first test is the most uh, difficult. Who is doing this? Uh, embassy? No, the, the, this is done by the Namibian uh, police, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Ministry of Health and Social Services mm -hmm. in, in Namibia. Mm -hmm. Long story short, if people are interested, we will show your Instagram and people can ask you how is it possible to do it, right? And you can help. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which business do you offer in Germany? Here in Koblenz, I, I'm running my own business here. Uh, it's called Natprox. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we are doing is we are manufacturing these cards. These are uh, membership cards for farmers across Africa mm -hmm. and especially in Namibia. We have just started the program in Namibia. And what will happen is that the farmers will provide us with uh, fair trade products, you know, crafts, uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. And we would post it on our website. You can order this. Uh, and part of the money goes to finance uh, as an insurance for farmers mm -hmm. in, in Africa so that when their animals die from droughts and climate change, they can have a new animal on the farm okay. so that they don't suffer so much from droughts mm -hmm. and uh, climate change, mm -hmm. uh, floods.
70% of the populations in Africa are still farming communities. They are not living in cities, but they are farming. And they are the most uh, devastated when there's a, a climate change mm -hmm. uh, or a drought. So our program with these cards, we, we, we are offering it all over Germany. And part of the percentage when you buy something, a Christmas gift or a craft, on our website, we give some of the money to ensure the farmers' uh, livestock okay. and, uh, and game sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Are you owner from this insurance? Yes, I'm the owner. I'm the founder. It's quite a new, innovative program mm -hmm. because so many times we we see in Africa uh, we are only. Uh, asking for aid, mm -hmm. for, for donors and things like that. But this program will help us to, to, to give something back mm -hmm. to the person in Germany and also to help the farmer on, on, mm -hmm. on, on, on the land in, uh, in, in Namibia mm -hmm. or in Africa. So uh, we're starting with farmers in Namibia and then we'll move to other African countries and uh, the program will continue. Okay. For, for future, you would like to live in Germany or maybe you would like to go back to Africa? Right now I'm very excited about my life because I spend a few months in Africa every year, mm -hmm. especially during winter. Mm -hmm. I'm back because it's so hot there, nicely. It's, it's summer there. It's so hot in Germany. Yeah, and we, during the summer here, uh, during the summer, I'm back here in Germany again mm -hmm. to, to stay here. So, and also I'm very flexible because my business is online. Mm -hmm. I don't need to always be in one place. Mm -hmm. So I'm always moving between Africa and Germany. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Some people right now in Africa are watching us and thinking they have maybe they have opportunity to study in Germany or to live in Germany. What is your opinion? Should they do it or not? My opinion is that Germany offers you a wonderful to, opportunity to broaden your mind, mm -hmm. to open your mind to 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 industrialization, to see how German manufacturing is is doing. There's a lot of German startups which are making robots, uh, producing uh, innovative 3D printing. For that purpose, you must come to Germany for a short time, learn how they are doing things, and go back to Africa and develop Africa. Mm -hmm. I, would, I will not advise someone to come and stay in Germany permanently. Why? Because life... It's also challenging here. And uh, about paperwork or about what? Paperwork and, 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 uh, and uh, it's also expensive. You must work very hard here in Germany. Mm -hmm. People uh, th think that uh, Germany is not, uh, it's not people just come here and you get money. It doesn't work that way in Germany. You must really work hard. You must work for, let's say, Amazon from so many hours or for the Deutsche Post. And it's really hard work every day mm -hmm. to work really hard for, for, for German companies here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not so easy also. And also you have to, to the Wohnung, the, the way of uh, staying, mm -hmm. it's very expensive also for the Wohnung. But now we, we have uh, a lot of IT hubs being put up especially in, uh, in Kenya, it's really moving fast, in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Can you say something at your native language? Hello, Menze. My name is Nathanael Shikongo. Ongei pi, nawa, opomuri yetamu itu nawa. I agree 100%. It's definitely <laughs> true. <laughs> if you want to, me to lecture you, or to give you classes on traditional African languages, please send me an email. I will teach you how to speak in the click language like Kire, Kire means call, come, Kire. It's Tamara Nama language. I heard there are a lot of millionaires in Africa. What's they doing? Yeah, I know of a few millionaires in South Africa. For instance, Patrice Motsepe, he's a millionaire or a billionaire. He made his money in mining, mm -hmm. mining of minerals. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. Uh, one guy from Namibia, his name is Opa Indongo. Mm -hmm. He made his money through properties, mm -hmm. cars, and real estate, mm -hmm. uh, lodges, mm -hmm. manufacturing, uh, diversity. 
and I know some who have made in supermarkets because Africa is, is booming people need to eat ShopRite mm -hmm. it's one of the big uh, supermarkets owned by uh, South African there's actually a lot of millionaires in South Africa itself diamond uh, mining companies like the beers mm -hmm. we've made a lot of money owned by a really rich family mm -hmm. but also we have uh, people like Sven Time in Namibia who are the owners of the old Hava and Lis group mm -hmm. which is providing milk shopping complexes and so on then we have younger millionaires and billionaires who are just starting from the ground self-made well, like you like me yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, but you live your your dream life right now or you told me i'm few few months in africa i'm here i can work from home i can work from africa it means you have your dream life right yes i i must say i'm happy i have a really good uh, job i'm my own boss mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is because it's been my dream to work i'm, I'm not interested in uh, working for other people mm -hmm. uh, I think I want to develop Africa mm -hmm. I want to build things there mm -hmm. uh, for the future mm -hmm. I don't want to depend on other people so that's why I work so hard to, to make this business a success how our followers can, can help you to do your business I will encourage you to buy something mm -hmm. on our website mm -hmm. order something and uh, let's help a farmer we are trying to reach 20 million farmers uh, this year in Africa in Africa mm -hmm. to be on the program mm -hmm. that means just buying one item from us mm -hmm. uh, the money goes back to the farmers and these farmers will become strong mm -hmm. and then they don't need to think about leaving Africa so they can survive and build good future for themselves in Africa what are the prices on your website uh, the, 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 the goods are manufactured by rural communities mm -hmm. in Africa using raw materials so the prices are very very well priced about nine euros for an item as a Christmas gift mm -hmm. or a basket uh, these are all fair trade prices uh, yes so uh, buy a small item just one item for nine for nine euros how much is this one this one is 10 euros 10 euros okay yeah. for for nine i can buy something like this but a little bit smaller right exactly okay and much so all, all the money goes back to the farmer so that he doesn't suffer during the droughts and climate change mm -hmm. yeah. where do you pay your taxes in germany or in africa yeah because we are a special company uh, what means special it means we are like a, we are giving good communities uh, services mm -hmm. like a help to the communities we are not so highly taxed mm -hmm. by uh, in, africa. In, in africa and also here in germany for germany not so high means 30 20 25 percent of taxes i must say it's reasonable let me say it's not high it's not low okay it's just reasonable so that you can uh, we are able to move goods mm -hmm. from africa mm -hmm. to here and then give it to our customers mm -hmm. and still be left with a little bit of a, of a profit mm -hmm. for the for the company you bring stuff from Africa to Germany, right? Yeah. How many taxes you pay? Something like this, you have to pay 10 euros. But yeah. how, how much taxes do you pay for one stuff, for 100 euro, for 1000 euro? How much? I, I think 10% of each item you have to pay. We have to pay okay. in taxes. Okay. What is the most difficult part in your business? The most difficult part is shipping. Mm -hmm. There is so much regulation in bringing things in into the EU, mm -hmm. into Germany. So many rules, especially goods from Africa. Mm -hmm. If these things can be relaxed 
it will be good. Mm -hmm. Too many checkpoints, too many papers to fill in. When you speak about different way from Germany to Africa, is it easier? Yeah, yeah. From Germany to Africa is quite easier. It's okay. it's it's uh, uh, our African checkpoints are not so difficult for EU products. Okay. But it's very difficult on the other side for African products into the EU. Mm -hmm. Too much regulation, too many laws. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you have to pay for these regulations each step. Mm -hmm. I think it's better if we these things are removed, mm -hmm. these barriers are removed and we can have really true free trade mm -hmm. uh, into the EU with our products. Which cities do you visit as in Germany? I've been to Hamburg. I was there to watch the Lion King musical. I did, so I did it also. It's so beautiful. Huh? Yeah, I did it also a few months ago, maybe. Uh, yeah. Ah, it's so beautiful, incredible. I've been to Saarland, uh -huh. uh, Saarbrücken, that's where I studied. I've been to uh, Kiel, the real north of Germany. You speak? You speak at home German or English? We speak at home German and English. Both, both languages? Both, both languages. And your children? Uh, they speak Oshivambu with the father. The world is so open now. People can move in uh, wherever you want to live. You can live in China if you want to, you can live in uh, Africa if you want to. So, but the real important thing is that people respect other people's cultures. Mm -hmm. This is the very most important thing, that you respect the host culture. Like for instance, I live here in Germany, there's rules in Germany, uh, lots of rules, what you can do and what you cannot do. Yeah, I think the first step is to study the country, do a little bit of research in that country. Some people have a different view or preconceived ideas about what the country is. Mm -hmm. For instance, some people think mm -hmm. coming to Germany, there's a lot of BMWs and Mercedes-Benz, you can just get them, mm -hmm. but uh, they don't know that Germany exports most of, of its cars. Mm -hmm. And even Germans cannot afford these cars. And you really have to work hard here in Germany to... I yeah, think yes. the most important, studying what is, what is the economy of that country before you move there. Mm -hmm and see what are your skills before you can move there. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you can live much better in your country. Mm -hmm. There's more potential. It's like having diamonds under, under the soil, your farm, but you move away. And another person come from another country, they buy your farm, mm -hmm. and then they find the diamonds, then they become rich in your country. Right. But you, you are running away from the country to get rich mm -hmm. from another country. Tell me about the, about the crime in Africa. Is it where you live? Where are you from? It's no. When, the, when we speak about the from one to ten, and ten, it's very very crazy. I will say one. You you will say one. One yeah. to ten. The crime is not the problem in Africa. Yeah. I think it's only made like that in the news, but it's not really. It's, for the last 10 years, 20 years, there's no major crime against tourists visiting Namibia. What is your goals for the next five years? Uh, we are currently expanding mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, the program mm -hmm. to involve uh, more African countries. Mm -hmm. Right now we are in Namibia and Zambia and we want to put in Malawi and all the other countries mm -hmm. on, in the program. And we want to increase our products on the, on the website also to include many things that, that uh, our farmers cannot access mm -hmm. from the EU like good sh farming shoes, good quality clothes, uh, good products like from Aldi, from Netto, which are very expensive now. But if you can negotiate with Aldi and Netto and uh, all these German companies mm -hmm. to bring their prices to the level of Africa, mm -hmm. to, for, for these goods to be in the hands of many farmers, mm -hmm. uh, it will be good. But I think German shops buying the stuff in China, it's not really Germany, it's not really made in Germany, it's more like made in China or not. Why, why you would like to buy the stuff in Germany and not directly in China? That's a good question, because these German uh, companies have 
very good contracts with China. with China and they get it very cheap. If we would take the last two months, how many people order at your page? I have currently about 2,000 Facebook fans, followers, mm -hmm. and I advertise a lot on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And from these followers, I get, uh, I would say, each month I will get about a hundred people who would... Uh, every month. Every month. Mm -hmm. and how it works with your internet page? Like me, I will go, I will pay, I will buy it and pay $10. Yeah. Then how much money? goes to insurance how much money you earn i think once you buy uh, an item for 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 uh, 10 euros about uh, 8 euros comes back to us mm -hmm. about 5 euros goes back mm -hmm. to, to the producers mm -hmm. uh, 1 euro comes back to us for the operations mm -hmm. And another euro goes to the mm -hmm. for the insurance. It's, the, it's like ten percent for insurance. Yeah, ten percent for people for you because you are you organize I, I, yeah, everything. Yeah. The majority of the money goes to the farmers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they produce the things and they have the insurance to benefit from the insurance. Mm -hmm. One who gets the item mm -hmm. is a Christmas gift for their families or a nice office decoration from Africa and they are also helping someone, a mm -hmm. farmer in, mm -hmm. in, in this case. Okay. Is to know that you are helping someone. Mm -hmm. That's the, 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 the mission. The mission. Yeah. Yeah, the mission of the company. Mm -hmm. Nathan, do you know any companies, Germany companies, uh, in Africa, they are working right now in Africa and do the business in Africa and pay their taxes and stay because of, I don't know of what, but maybe because it's more convenient to work and to build a business in Africa. Yes, I must say that uh, most Germans companies are operating in Namibia. Because? Uh, especially in the, in the tourism sector. Mm -hmm. There are three flights coming from Frankfurt Airport, overnight flights, full, always full of Germans, going to Namibia for tourism mm -hmm. uh, in Swagopmund or in... Uh, there's a lot of lodges owned by Germans in Namibia. There's a very... Uh, a, a lot of Germans in Namibia because it was a German colony uh, mm -hmm. in the 1800s and so on. Most of the uh, uh, generational families who have farms, game farms, lodges, mm -hmm. uh, hotels, uh, mostly German, German people. German people, yeah. And it means they speak German. They speak yeah. German. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have. Uh, I think most of the Germans are connected to Namibia more than any other African country. Uh, there's really a huge gap between rich people and poor people in. in, in city of Vintuk, uh, you find that only maybe one percent of the people are middle class and uh, what is middle class they mid can have a class, car they have a car they have a house they have water they have toilets they have yeah okay middle class and then you have the super rich rich people they have three toilets they have and three toilets and, and, and then cars. you have those who don't have toilets uh, those are the poor people yeah. and you can see it when you're in the city of Vintuk you can see this difference. Nathan, what is different between African girls and German girls? <laughs> <laughs> That's a naughty question, but I will try to answer it. I think girls are all the same uh, all over the world. In every culture, Africa or German, there's uh, yes. the ones who are educated, skinny. Nathan, is Denzel Washington from Africa? Yeah, his ancestors are from Africa, but he's uh, African-American. Okay. If I will fly tomorrow with my team to your country, to Africa, to, to your city, is it, is it dangerous to stay there? No. Uh, Vintuk is one of the cleanest and safest cities in Africa. Mm -hmm. That's my capital city. Uh, there's no crime in, uh, in Namibia. Mm -hmm. 
uh, to risk and go and come back safely. Thousands do it every year. Mm -hmm. I think uh, maybe only on, on, on things like malaria, mm -hmm. uh, when you go up north, mm -hmm. they must take care of uh, malaria. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all. Mm -hmm. And uh, to drive safely, maybe. I would like you to contact me if anyone wants to travel to Namibia. I'm also offering some free services of uh, travel it would be nice. Travel uh, news or travel information about Namibia. How expensive is it to go for one week? It's quite cheap for coming from the uh, from uh, the EU when you are using the euro. I mean, what do you pay for a flight for tickets? Two ways. Two ways would cost you around six hundred euros, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a hotel will cost you about 50 euros a uh, night. With, with breakfast? With breakfast, yeah. Okay. But uh, there's a lot of places you can stay, lodges, mm -hmm. uh, five-star lodges, uh, four-star, three-star. The water is clean, everything is okay. With, uh, you can drink water from the tap mm -hmm. and the roads are safe. If I will go tomorrow to Africa and I would like to buy something, what can I buy in Africa what I can't buy in Germany? That's a good question, yeah. I think Africa currently is known for uh, big companies that are buying uh, raw materials, mm -hmm. diamonds, mm -hmm. uh, special products like leather mm -hmm. products, mm -hmm. uh, special stones mm -hmm. for, for gems, mm -hmm. stones you can buy those things. Uh, of course, arts and crafts mm -hmm. is a lot there. Uh, special oils mm -hmm. for the for the cosmetics industry. Okay. Tell me three, four things. What can I do with my team in Africa? What can I see? Where can I drive? Maybe safari, something like this. I don't know. Tell me like few things. What can I do with my team? What it's so amazing in Africa. You must definitely see a Tosha National Park. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest or most visited park in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, we have about one million visitors mm -hmm. per day. You can see the lions, you can see the elephants. You can drive, if you want to drive. A safari? Uh, no, just on the road. Yeah. You enjoy driving on the on, on, on the how, open, open roads. How expensive is it to rent a car? No, it's not so expensive. Okay. It's not so expensive. It's SUVs, right? SUVs, yeah. Okay. SUVs. Thank you so much for your time that you give us the opportunity. Thank you. It's my pleasure to, to be interviewed by your program. And I hope that uh, you will come to visit Namibia very soon.